Hey guys, it's Sarah Tutorials, and today's tutorial is going to be by your request. But some of you requested a tutorial on how to uh, create this nice uh, crunch texture in Cinema 4D. You guys are wondering how to create, uh, how to make it look professional. And the second uh, part of this tutorial is gonna, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this um, nice chrome texture uh, or text or texture, whatever. Um, so first of all, let's start creating our grunge texture. For this, you will need a grunge texture, um, an actual image of a texture. Um, the image is preferably uh, to be about 3,000 by 3,000 pixels minimum. Um, anything more less than that, it's just gonna look. It doesn't. It's not gonna look really professional. So let's start by dragging in the texture to Cinema 4D. And in Material Manager, it's gonna show this texture w that we just put in here. So double click on it. And in Color tab, click on this little image here. And uh, change exposure from 0 to 34 and select diffusion and here uh, select effect reflection and effect luminance and change the texture uh, to uh, or select the texture and uh, in go to bitmaps and um, select whatever texture that you put in here so I'll put in this texture so that's what I'm gonna select grunge grunge V by stuck down I don't know what that is um now select dumb <laughs> I was gonna say dumb now select bump um here change the texture to noise and click this little image here where it's showing noise and change noise from noise to uh sema and then space change it from texture to uv 2 d and uh, global scale decrease that to 40 percent and relative scale increase that to 335 but really depends on um, depends on what kind of uh, noise you're using or what kind of uh, noise texture you're using and what kind of uh, look you're, lo uh, you're uh, going for so uh, you kind of have to mess around with these settings here and with diffusion and color too so it, it really depends on what um, what look you're going for anyways um, specular uh, change the width from 50 to 60 and keep the height the same and then change it from plastic to colored and go back to bump and uh, increase the strength to 80 now we're pretty much done creating the texture now um, drag the texture onto any object like for uh, for example I'm using a text right now and um, it's gonna in um, in the object menu, in the object manager menu here, uh, on the text there's gonna be a texture tag. So click on this texture tag that you just uh, put onto the text, and it's gonna bring up a menu here. Um, change the projection to cubic and uh, select seamless. And then, if your image is small and it kind of repeats itself over the text like if I make the U length uh, smaller as you can see it's going to start repeating itself it's going to start shrinking the image uh, in that case you would want to uh, increase the um, length U to stretch it and that's what I'm going to do that's what I suggest to do for this texture and um, I'm going to use ambient occlusion and global illumination and um, 
advanced uh, lighting settings for this particular uh, scene here. I'm not going to show you guys how to create this lighting because, you know, it's it's kind of a beginner thing. You can watch my other tutorials and they're going to show you how to do that, but not in this tutorial. This is about the texture, not about the lighting. So let's just render this real, uh, really quick and see what it looks like. Also, you want to have a really bold text like this one, so it looks um, it looks like it's made of stone in this case, or like maybe uh, sand. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, grunge texture. All right, so we're on to part two, and in this part, as I already said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this nice looking. Um, texture, um, chrome texture. So for this one you're not gonna need any um, actual image to create a texture. All you'll need is um, just the material to just create the material. So hopefully you have your scene set up with the text that you're gonna use and the lighting. Um, if you don't know how do you do that, how do you create good text and lighting then I suggest you watch my beginner's guide um, it shows how to do that uh, so once you have it all set up double click on the materials tab to create a new material double click on the new material um, here in the color tab um, reduce the brightness to 90 and make sure the color is gray unless you want to use some other color and the color is light gray now go to reflection and in reflection change the brightness decrease it to 20 percent and texture change this actually yeah yeah change the texture to Fresnel or Fresnel um, and click on the little gradient image and here change the black to a dark gray or even like even a little bit lighter gray yeah that's good and um, render change this to front and back make sure it's front and back um, now specular select this and just mess around with this keep the width at 50 and increase the height to 30 and decrease fall off to negative 11 um, now um, grab this new material that you just created and drag it onto the text and click on it click on the little tag here the material tag on the text and it will bring up a menu um, here select seamless and projection cubic and um, we're ready to render this Alright, so uh, that looks pretty good to me. The only difference between this material and um, the one that I showed you guys in the picture is that this one is not as dark. I am not sure why that is. We might want to try to fix that. So I'll just look over to this material as reference. Okay, reflection. Oh. I forgot something so we'll go back to the material we created and in the reflection change mix mode from normal to add and that should fix our problem and let's render this again okay uh, it's still dark mm, 
let's go back to the material again and let's see what we might change um, select specular color just in case because the other material has it and I'm just gonna look over to this material again and maybe change the settings here uh, with specular with 86 45 11 all right and go back let's go back to our material again so in specular change the width to 86 and height to 45 I believe it was and I think that's gonna fix a problem it should at least if it doesn't then yeah it's probably the lighting maybe I changed the lighting but yeah it still looks pretty good yeah I think I changed the lighting that's probably why but anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you like this I hope this was useful if it was uh, please uh, thumbs up and comment and subscribe and see you guys later